Hello, 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 everybody. It's Friday night. What, what? Eve's Creations Paint Party in the house. I'm Eve, obviously. We have a majority wins. Starlight Swinger. Oh, yeah. So, log on. Say hello. Let me know you're painting. Hello, family. We're, I'm back. Hi, guys. So let's say hi to Butters. Hi, Butters. What you doing? Hey, buddy. He might be chiming in here and there, so we should give him a hello. Hi, 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 Tara. What's up, girlfriend? All right, I'm going to put you in your little gizmo, your little holder. Say hi if you're painting. I love, love, love talking to everybody. You know that. You guys already know that. I can talk to concrete. So, we are good. Boy, is the phone crooked? Am I crooked? I think I'm crooked. Right? Hey, Nancy. How you doing, love? Haven't seen you in a while. How you doing, sweetheart? Doing all right? Let me know if you need me to move the painting or anything, guys, okay? I think you're I think we're pretty good there. But you let me know what's up. Alright, weapons this evening. Weapons, weapons, weapons. We have a bigger boy. He's a one inch flat. Hey Nancy. We have hey Lisa. We have a medium a fluffy. Mini me. Looks just like big boy except he's tiny. He does our coloring for us. And we have a tiny. He is for the details. This one's a size one round. If you're interested. All of these brushes go in the water and keep them there because acrylic paint dries fast. Do not clean them unless I instruct you to, which will be a swirl, a tap, a dab on your paper towel. You want to dab in the direction of your bristles and you want it to be wet but not dripping. I'm going to pour my paint. Tonight's painting, this palette is actually only four colors. It is blue, black, white, and a little bit of red. So if you're following my palette, that's what I use. If you're gonna get creative with all sorts of colors, go for it. You know, I love that. So. I'm going to pour my paint. You guys say hello. We'll get this party started. Nancy, you painting tonight, love? You're going to paint? You're painting tonight, right? You got all the stuff. I was starting to worry about you. I thought something might have happened, but you're all right. I got to lower the music because I feel like I'm yelling. Hi, everybody. Hi, fam. Let's do this. Okay, good. Glad everything's A-OK. -okay. Hello, hello, hello. Say hello if you're painting. Oh, wow. Wow. That's always a lot of fun to have a, a, a community garage sale. That's always a lot of fun. 6,000%. And I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah. yeah. Being sick sucks. That's for sure. That is for sure. So, but those garage sales are nice. Um... You excited about doing this? I'm pretty excited about doing this one. So we're going to be holding our canvases straight up and down tonight. Anybody watching, I use a 16 by 20 canvas. So if you are using something smaller, adjust accordingly. Because I say one hand down, two hands over. Obviously, if you're using something smaller, it might be only a couple of fingers. So make sure you do your adjustments. Hey, Megna in the house. Megna Nancy's here. Hi, Magna. I missed you last Friday. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. 
But you want to know a surprise? You're the only one that sent me the frog painting. So you have your painting being shared as the only painting. So I missed you too, sweetie, but I'm glad you're outside enjoying your friends. Absolutely. Hi. So your frog painting is the one and only posted because you're amazing, Magna. And nobody sent me theirs. But they did. So you get a whole Facebook post all to yourself. Say hi to Nancy. Fancy Nancy's here tonight. Okay, now the music's too low. <laughs> I'll figure it out. We got some bopping music tonight. We got some bopping music tonight. All right, guys, I cannot. <laughs> I'm glad you are so happy. So, um, hey, hey, Holly, what's up, girl? How you doing? What is going on? Hey, hey, Michelle, how you doing, hon? Hello. Yes, Friday nights. Friday nights, every Friday night at 7, regardless of the cheaters and the haters and the stealers, I am still here. So, yep, and everyone's excited about this painting. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing, Holly. Mwah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So excited about the new adventures you've been doing, too. We gotta do, we gotta hook something up. We gotta hook something up, Holly. We'll definitely get something going. I'm, I really, really, really want to. And I'm doing in-person parties again, so. Gotta get something going on. It'll be, be great. Alright, so far I got Megna and Nancy. Holly's hanging out. You, uh, you painting tonight, Holly? You just saying hi. And we got, uh, Michelle watching. So, and guys, anybody who's watching these videos, if you need supplies, I have the kits. The kits are available, and they are awesome. Just ask Nancy. She has one. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, I'm going to pour my paint. Again, like I said, it's red, blue, white, and black. Unless you're getting creative. You're getting creative. You might use more colors. That's up to you. That is up to you how creative you're going to get. Yes, yes, it is awesome. Very, very, very awesome. All right, guys, we're going to... Uh, let me show you what's on deck for next Friday. So, next Friday, last call for next Friday is Americana. Everybody said they loved it, but it keeps losing. So, anyone who wants Americana, make sure you hit like. Because next Friday, it's the last call to be able to paint this. And, da 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 Next Friday, Spook is in the house. That's right. Check it out. We're getting ready for the season. So he is going to be in the running to vote on. Unless I sell him in Smithville tomorrow. <laughs> Always a possibility. But Spook is finished. He is in the house. All right, guys, so I'm going to get started. Tell me when you're ready. I got my black gob of terror, my white gob, my blue gob of ghosts, and my red gob. We are ready to roll. Again, take your screenshot if you need to. 
because I can't share both or open the event. You like that, Magna? You like those? There might be a delay from when I get your messages. So, but I will answer your questions, I promise you. All right, give me thumbs up, give me ready, because I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. Be starting with bigger boy swirl tap dad big boy i don't know why i can't say big boy correctly i always have to put well what i think is italian accent but i don't think it's really italian <laughs> i just say a bigger boy he's a bigger boy swirl tap dad big boy you're gonna grab some white white and a little bit of blue blue <laughs> I see all those, Magna. I see those. You're going to find your center. Oh, find your center. Oh. And you're going to about one hand down. And about two hands up. One, two. Pretty much a little bit past halfway was that mark. And you guys know the drill. Parentheses. Parentheses. Parentheses and a parentheses. There's your big old moon. There's your big old moon. That's what we're starting with. And then you can just grab your white paint. Just grab your white paint. Once you have it drawn in, you can fill it in with the white and the blue on your brush. Fill it in. Swirl it around. Use the flat of that brush to fix your edges if you need to. That's right. That's all you need to do. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And if you totally screw it up, that's okay. We're going to be putting dark black blue around it. So Now, if you want your moon to have a little bit of a purplish tint, you want to add a little bit of red and a little bit of blue together. Red. Hey, Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. All right, so if you want purple, it's red, blue, white, and black. That's it. And all I grabbed on my brush was a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. Went one hand down, two hands up. Parentheses and apprentices. And now I'm grabbing a little bit of red with my blue and with my white. So my moon gets a purplish tint to it, and we're just going in this, going around in circles inside of it. That's all we're doing. All we're doing. Hey, hey. Is Julia here too? Megna's in the house. Nancy's in the house. My fam. Oh, yeah. Holly was here saying hello to us. I don't know if Holly's painting or not, but she was saying hello to us at least, and she shared the, the, the post, so that was nice. So, white, black, blue, and red. And the red is only if you're going to do purple. And if you're going to get creative, you can grab whatever colors you want. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, that's dark. So if you grab and it comes out a little dark, guess what? Just grab some white. Just grab some white. It'll stop being dark. And I'm just going around in circular motions. I'm just going around in circles. That's what I'm doing. Huh? I'm used to that. I have no idea what kind of music is on right now. Can you just spin that right to the center? That's all. And if, it, and if it's a little dark, if you wound up with it being a little dark, you just wipe that excess paint off of your brush. Like that. And you grab more white paint. And you can lighten it right up. 
No worries. No worries. Your moon, it's your colors. You can do whatever you want. Your world. Your world. That's right. Okay. And once you have that in for yourself, you're going to grab black. And you're going to grab blue. And it could be dirty blue. It could be the dirty blue we were just playing with before. And you're just going to follow around your moon. So if you screwed up the shape of your moon, guess what? Now you can fix it. So I'm just pulling big boy. Nice and easy. Nice and flat. Pulling those bristles nice and flat. I'm just tracing around my moon. That's all I'm doing. So if you messed up the shape of your moon, guess what? Now you can fix it. Because these colors will cover right over what you did before. And I'm going to put my big old head in the way to see if I'm even. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I am just doing those dark colors around my moon now. Blue and black. Blue and black. And you're going to fill from about a third of the way up. Fill in the whole rest of the sky and the rest of the canvas, blue and black. And you can add some white. So blue, black, and white, the whole rest of your sky. Blue, black, and white. And when you're going around your moon, just take it a little slow and pull big boy nice and flat all the way around. That's all. Nothing hard there. And if you want to get really fancy, you can grab blue, black, and red for your sky if you want some purple in your sky, too. It's up to you. All up to you. So Hannah and Dustin aren't meeting us today. They went out of town. And Amy and Becca are on vacation. So they're going to watch the replay. So if you want to grab a little bit of red. So I threw a little bit of red on my brush. And I grabbed some blue. And then if I throw a little white on that. You'll get purple. So, it's your sky. It's your color choices. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. If you want it purpley, just throw some red in there. If you like the blue and black, just grab the blue and black. If you want to throw a little bit of white in there, just to lighten it up a little bit. Especially towards the bottom, because that's where our mountains and everything else is going to be. So, and I'm just smoothing this on, just smoothing it on. <laughs> hey, Lisa, of course you're going to watch the replay. <laughs> you're my replay girl. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. But you know I love that you come on and say hi to us. We got Megna in the house. Megna's here tonight. Nancy's here. Tammy's here. I don't know if Julie is painting with Tammy or not. So the whole fam's here. How you been, Lisa? Where were you running around to? Anywhere good? I'm going to be in Smithville tomorrow. If any of you guys want to take a ride to Smithville, you know, travel four states to go to Smithville. 
It's a really cool historic town in southern Jersey. And they're having um, Rockabilly Uprising, Art Underground Art Walk. They're going to have a car show there. So lots and lots of stuff going on there tomorrow. So if anybody is in the area and you want something to do, that's something to do that's pretty fun. Smithville's got it going on tomorrow. And I'll be there. Yes, I will. I will be there. Yes, I will. <laughs> That's hysterical. That is hysterical. Hey, Julia. Hey, hey, hey. She's got a stalker, huh? Well, she can outrun him. She can always just outrun him. Or she can sneeze on him. That'll scare him. That'll scare him. Julia's in the house. Oh, yeah. We got Fancy Nancy. We got Magna. Tammy and Julia. Lisa's here. My whole family's together. I love it. I love it. And if you're new and you're painting with us, say hi. Say hi. We love anybody new painting with us. Right, guys? Of course, later on, I'm going to have my Eve Artistry Insight for you guys. Give you a little, little art tip to help uh, you guys with your paintings better. A little bit of insight, a little bit of art tip going on. Some ideas for you. So, I'm just painting around this moon and I'm just going in circular strokes all the way around the moon. So it looks like there's a little spin going on in the sky. If you notice, I've just been doing circular strokes all around the moon. That's it. That's it. And as I was painting, my moon got a little small. So I'm going to make my moon a little bigger just by grabbing more white paint. <laughs> I'm going to be on your television. I'm a movie star. You making me a movie star? <laughs> A little scarlet. <laughs> you want me all in, in big screen? <laughs> Lord help you, Lisa. <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> so my moon got a little small in that whole process. So I'm just going to grab some white paint. And I'm going to go around. And I'm just going to make my moon a little bit bigger. That's all. So I'm grabbing some white paint. I'm going to grab a little bit of the red and blue to get that purpley color back. And I'm just going to make my moon a little bit bigger. Because as I was painting the sky, I got excited. And I wound up making my moon a little too small. And we're not going to worry about that. Because we can just grab our white and our red and our blue. And paint our moon back into big size again. Because all these colors like each other. So they'll all blend in with each other. There's no worries there. So if you were painting your sky and your moon became a little small because you got a little excited painting your sky in, no worries there. Just grab some more white paint. Grab your red and blue. Re-put your moon in. You can make it bigger. That's all. That's all. Or say you didn't like the first colors on your moon. You can play with it. 
You can play with it, add a second coat. You know me, I like to add more than one coat to my, my colors anyway. It really makes them pop. It really makes them pop. So, I like adding more than one coat to my layers. Nice, nice, Magna. I like it. Hey, Pat. My uh, comments weren't feeding, feeding in, so I'm a little, I'm a little slow with what you guys are saying. That is hysterical, Lisa. I like what you're doing there, Magna. Hey, hey, Pat. What's up, sweetheart? Pat, you painting with us tonight? You just saying hi. Pat's here, guys. Say hi to Pat. Pat is here. So, since I fixed my moon, now I'm just playing. Now I'm just playing, grabbing just the white or just the per or just the red or just the blue. Now I'm just kind of playing. Still keeping that circular motion, but I'm just playing to get all different things happening in my moon. That's all. That's all. And I'm giving a little bit of a press. I'm giving a little bit of a press. Just to really smash it in there. So that's up to you. If you want to play with your moon some more, go for it. If you liked what you had in the first place, leave it alone. You need to make it a little bit bigger, go right ahead. If you want to leave it just the way it is, leave it just the way it is. Don't matter to me none. Okay, when you're done with that, give Big Boy a good swirl. The more you swirl, cleaner it gets. You don't have to worry about cleaning them too much though. Tap them, dab them on your paper towel. See, and I'm not worried about them being too clean, because on the bottom here, we're now going to go across, and again, this is going to be a lot of blue. You can grab that dirty blue. It's all good. More white, and a little bit of black, okay? A lot of blue, more white, a little bit of black, and go straight across now. Straight across. So, more blue, white, a little bit of black. The picture of the girl swinging. I'll show you in a second, Pat. Let me just get everybody started on their water. And where you cut across your sky, don't stress it because that's where your little mountain range is going to go. So, you don't have to stress cutting across the sky. No, 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 no stressing. Just cut something straight across. So this is more blue, more white, a little bit of black. A little bit of black, that's all. Because you want your water to be on the lighter side of things. Is this picture, Pat? It's this picture. Ooh, ah. Guys, I was just playing with the music because I couldn't, uh, I needed something a little bit more, less techno, a little less techno for me. Bye, Pat. All 
right? So white, blue, and black. But make this a little lighter. Make this a little lighter so you can see all your black details when we go to put all the details in. So we're just throwing this in side to side. That's all. That's all we're doing. And again, if you want a little more purple going on, just grab that red. If you want a little more purple going on, just grab that red. That's all. That's up to you. Completely up to you. So, and if you have a stubborn piece of canvas, just give a little smush. Just give a little smush and then smooth it out. That's all you need to do. Just a little smush and smooth it right out. That's it. Nothing hard here. Okay, when you're done with that, pull out the excess paint out of Big Boy. Put them in your water. Anybody else getting these annoying little uh, gnats? These annoying little gnats, they like to be literally a part of my painting. <laughs> and you want to paint your sides, go right ahead, paint your sides. How's everybody doing? How you guys doing, fam? Doing pretty good? Nothing hard, right? Never anything hard. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. <laughs> oh, um, Tammy, am I saving that date for you for the adult party? Once you're done with that, you're going to swirl tap that big boy. Get all those globs out of him. Give him some good swirls. All right? Just get all that globby paint out of him. That's all we're doing. Making him nice and thin again. Because I'm sure he got all gooped up doing that fun sky and water that you guys were doing. Then I want you to go right on your moon. So find the center of your moon. Go right on your moon. And you're going to grab just black paint. Just black paint. Nice and thin edge. Right under your moon. And about two fingers worth of thickness. Right? And hide this water line. Okay, great. Tammy, that sounds awesome. So you're going to be hiding this water line. So right under the center of your moon, you're going to go straight across. Okay? And you can just fill that in. I'm just going straight across. All right? About a big boy's worth of thickness going on there. Because that's where your waterfall is going to be. So that's straight across. And once you have that as big as you want it to be, 
Hey, John, how you doing? Once you have that as big as you want to be, all right, you're going to take big boy, hold him back here, go to the bottom of that, just pull straight across that way, and then come and pull straight across this way, right? Hold big boy back here, perpendicular to canvas. Put your brush on the right underneath where you put that square. And you're just pulling as straight across as you can. Remember, it's water. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And this line doesn't have to be thin because you're making the mountains now. So I'm just going to grab more black paint. Just going to grab more black paint. And coming off of this squared off piece that I did, you're just going to go up and down and up and down and up again. It's your mountains. You can make as many as you want or as little as you want. Remember in art, odds always tend to be more aesthetically pleasing for some reason. So I did like three. I did like three and a half, two and a half. And then on this side, see, my stuff is, my moon is obviously not center, but that's okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to sneak in about three on this side. The original painting, I had like five on each side. So it's up to you. You want big mountains, little mountains. It's your mountains. Do whatever you want. And they're very simply just triangles, just zigzags. That's all we're doing, just zigzags. That's it. All right, so Tammy, I'm doing the festival tomorrow, so if I don't answer you, it's just because I'm busy. Once you have that, you can come down to the bottom of your painting in these two corners. Grab some black paint. Just take the one corner and triangle it out. Black in that square. And it doesn't have to be straight. This is just like a little bit of land or whatever. Doesn't matter. And then on your other corner, doing the same thing on the other corner. Nothing fancy here. Nothing fancy. Doing that right on the other corner, just black paint, just making little pieces of land, that's it. And then you're going to pull Big Boy nice and flat, nice and flat, get a nice flat thin edge on him. And over on this side, put it perpendicular to the canvas. Go in that little corner that you just made, and you're just going to pull up. You're just going to pull up. Okay? And you want to make, I made five of these, so if you want to make three or five, that little pull up is what these little, tiny little flower pieces went on. That's what you're making right now. And once you have those, then you can just kind of flick with Big Boy all around them. I'm just doing the flick. That's all I'm doing. Coming out from that little triangle of land I made. I'm just doing a little flick upwards. And just have them shorter than those four pieces that you made. Or five or how many ever you made for the flowers. So, again, nice flat edge. Perpendicular to my canvas, I just pulled up, made long pieces going up, and then I grabbed more black paint, and then I just did flicks. That's it. That's all we did over there. That was it. All right, now you're going to pull the black out of Big Boy. Just pull the globs out of them, get them nice and thin again. 
We're going to be working on this side and we're going to be cutting across our moon. We're going to do our tree, our tree branches, okay? So, we're going to start from this side. We're going to pull big boy across. And we're going to give ourselves a branch here and a branch here because the swing needs to be on something. And make sure when you cut across, you're on the top half of your moon up here. Don't put a branch down here. Up here in this area. So, black paint, nice and thin on my brush. I'm going to hold back here, perpendicular to canvas, and I'm going to place my brush right wherever my moon is. I want the branches to go from here up. So, I'm going to place my brush up in this area. Okay? And you're just very simply going to pull, just a quick pull, quicker you pull, thinner it'll be, and just stop, just stop over here, it doesn't matter, you can go all the way across, you can stop your branch somewhere over in this area, however, it's your branch, and then I'm going to go right back to where I started, perpendicular, holding my brush back here, and I'm going to pull along that, and then come upward. And just pull it off. That's all. Right? That's not hard. I'm going to grab more paint. Pull it nice and thin. See how nice and thin my brush is? No globs, people. You know what happens. Glob on your brush means... Everybody knows the end of this. Globs on your painting. That's right. So I had another happy little branch going on towards the top. So I'm going to go right back where I started again. And this time I'm going to do an angle upwards and just let it pull outwards. And then I'm going to follow along that branch line that I did. And I'm going to pull right off of there. Follow along that branch line that I did and pull out from there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I'm going to add more branches over here, right? So when I do my fluffies, so do not put branches here. This is where the swing strings are going to be. So leave this very simple in your moon. Come over to the edges over here. Start your brush on the branch. Again, I'm holding back here. I'm perpendicular to canvas. And I am just going to pull off that branch that I already started. And if you make something really thick, if the, say this part wound up being really thick, just make everything before it a little thicker. You just make everything before it a little thicker. And then that will make it look more like it's supposed to. Okay, so if anything it comes out really thick, just make everything before it thicker. Easy peasy. Nice flat brush, thin edge. Go to my branch, put my brush on my branch, hold it perpendicular, and pull. And you can have as many of these, or as little of these as you want. And then over here, I did something really fancy, and I churned my brush. So you have to churn your brush. And I put a branch going that way. That's up to you. You want to try it. If you screw it up, guess what? We're going to be fluffing this tree, so you could always hide it with the fluff. If you screw up... You can always hide it with the fluff. It's all good. All good. And just like that, we have our tree. So the next thing I want you to do 
is you have your two branches here, okay? So, where your girl is on the swing, the two strings come to a point. So, and this is it, this is the center of your moon, okay? And she's in the bottom half, and those branches were in the top half. So, what we're going to do is you're going to take these two branches and you're going to go with your eye and you're going to give yourself a little dot right here to mark where your strings are going to meet, okay? So your dot, right, what I say, these are where your two branches are. The swing strings go at an angle this way. And then you want your dot to be about two to three fingers from the side of your moon. So I'm going to put a little bit of black paint on the corner of Big Boy. I know my branches are here. I'm going to go with my, you know, don't touch your painting and smear your branches. <laughs> so I'm going to go like an angle down just with my I'm going to leave about two to three fingers from the edge of my moon. And I'm going to give myself a dot. Okay. Two branches. Go at an angle with your eye. About three fingers up from your edge. Give yourself a dot. Now, wipe the globs off a of big boy. Grab your black paint. Just put it on the tip of your brush. Wipe it off on the edge. Same thing we do for tree branches, right? Nice and thin. You're going to hold right here on your brush. You're going to go perpendicular, which means straight up to your canvas. You're going to start either if you want them from this branch, go for it. If you want them from this branch, go for it. There's your dot. So you're going to start from your dot. And you're going to pull up to your tree branch. I'm going to wipe the globs off of Big Boy. I'm going to grab more black paint. Just on the tip. I'm holding like right about here on my brush. I'm going to start at my dot. And I'm going to do a little bit of a different angle now. And I'm going to pull up from my dot. Make sure no globs and your big boy's nice and flat and straight. And I'm going to pull up from my dot. And there is the other swing string. Okay. And the more you try to fix it, the more you try to go over it, the thicker your strings are going to get. So, don't play with them too much. Hey, Tracy, nice to see you. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? How you doing, Nancy? How you doing, Magna? Hi, sweetie. How you doing, Tammy, Julia, all my painters, all my painting fam? How you guys doing out there? Hey, Lisa, how you doing? You watching? You taking notes? You taking notes, huh? Hey, John. Hey, Tracy. Hey, everybody. I'm doing like romper room. I see Tracy, and I see Lisa, and I see Magna, and Nancy, and Tammy, and I see Deneen. Hi, Deneen. I miss you, girl. <laughs> Lisa's taking notes. That's right. You got this, Lisa. You can do this. Good stuff. And watch some of my older videos, you silly gooseberry. Magna's good. 
She's all good in the hood. How you doing, Julia? Doing all right? Don't be letting that boy distract you. <laughs> you guys got this. No, we're up. My phone's wiggling. Earthquake! Earthquake! <laughs> this is what happens when you only live with a dog. You become extremely silly. So, did you guys see Spook? Tammy, you missed Spook. Look. There he is. Now, unless I sell him tomorrow, he's going to be part of next Friday. So. There's Spook. And it's going to be last call for Americana, guys. So, if you want this one, tag your friends and get your votes in. And everybody watching the replay... I know a lot of people out there like this one and really wanted to do it, but it's not winning. So if you want to do this one, you have to tag your friends and have them vote. Okay? Alright, swirl tap dab tiny. Swirl tap dab tiny. Ooh. Close up. Okay, so we're working with only our black paint. Remember, pay attention to tiny. Make sure he doesn't get all globby gooby on you. That's technical terms, globby gooby. I'm just grabbing some black paint. Remember, he's not a marker. You got to keep filling him where your dot is. You're going to do a line angled, angled out like that. All right, and I'm treating him like a pencil. If you notice, I lean my hand. I'm drawing like a pencil. All this is dry now. So we're good to go. Grab more black paint. So you want to do this line. About two to three fingers long, okay? Angled out like that. All right? I'm going to grab some more paint. And then you're going to do another line. Coming out at an angle like that. Now that line is about... Four fingers long. Remember uh, Eve's Artistry Insight with Happy Little Campers? How I told you that this is, the legs are always longer than the torso, which is longer than the head. Same concept. So this is her torso. That's about three fingers. And the leg is about four fingers. Same concept. Following the same concept. So, you're going to find where the middle of your line is, right here. Oh, find my center. I don't know what this is, Magna. It kind of sounds like Mario Brothers, doesn't it? So, there's my center. You're going to come up from the center of that line. And then you're going to go sh straight into where your dot is. And then you're going to come down just a little bit. Kind of sounds like Mario Brothers, right? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, top part of your line over here. You're going to go from the one string. This is going to be up at an angle, like that. So, 
You're going to do a line of one string. And then you're going to do a line of the other string. And then at the top of this line, top of this line, you're going to do a little tiny piece going up like that. And then round it across like that. And then swoop around. Swoop. I don't know who that is, but I hope they're not copyrighted because otherwise they're going to shut me down. <laughs> I have non-copyright music on. But you were right, it is Nyan Cat. How did you know that, Tammy? That's so weird that you knew that. That's so weird that you knew that. <laughs> okay. So once you have this part, you can color that in. Then wipe the globs off your brush because I'm sure it's getting globby by now. Make sure you have a nice tip. A little bit of black paint on there. Okay, I hope it's not copyrighted. I don't know what Nyan Cat is. So, right in the center of this, you're just going to give your little nose. Just do your little nose there. And then you're going to come around their head and go shoop, just like that. And the bottom of her head goes shoop, just like that. Fill that in with flicks. That's the hair. That's the hair, like Magnus hair. Blowing in the wind. Bang this nice, pretty black hair that she has. Oh, okay. Oh, you're going to put fairy wings on her? That's a great idea, Magnum. So once you have that, you're going to come out, you're going to come down from the neck area a little bit here. Just make that piece a little bit thicker. Wipe off the globs from your brush. And then where your whole dot thing was hanging out, you want to do a straight line. Okay, that's the seat of the swing. And then you're going to do a little swoop for her badonkadonk and a little swoop for the curve of her back.
color that in. And then you're just going to do like a little swoop here. Just a swoop. And if you lost your square, you can just put a new one. I kind of lost the square for this, the seat of the swing, so you can put a new one. It's okay. Your first step into the unknown. Maybe you don't know what it's like to be the most powerful person in the room. Or the most wanted person on the planet. Maybe you don't know what it takes to lead a team. All right, and I'm swirl tapping, dabbing tiny because my tiny's getting really goopy. Okay, right, where these these legs were, you just want to swoop up towards where that leg met in the middle, and then curve up this way. That's the thigh, so you curve that way, and you curve this way, and have it meet up where that line's going through, and then past where that line's going through, you're going to swoop out again. On the bottom, there's her calf. And then you're just going to give her a foot. Wipe off your globs. Come over to this line. This is another foot. And again, you're going to swoop. And make that rounded and then in the back you want it to swoop out that way to make that part rounded and then a little swoop in here and then a bigger one over the top And then for her arms, you're just going to make it a little thicker over here. That's all. So, a little thicker there. A little thicker over here. And there, you have it, girl on a swing, or like Magna's doing a fairy. It's all up to you. Whatever you guys want to do, it's your girl. It's your girl. And like I said, as you're filling it in with the black, you could always fix whatever you need to fix or make something a little more rounded. Whatever you need to do. That's okay, Magna. When we put the little sparkles in, you can cover right up. 
You can cover it right up. I made her foot too long on the first one, so that's why I put the sparkle on her foot. Make her twinkle toes. And where her arms are meeting, you need to do like a little thing that would be her hands. That's okay, Magna. So wherever you kind of screw her up, you can just put a little sparkle on her later. And you can have her have twinkle toes or little stars coming off of her directly. It doesn't matter. And you guys did it. Look at that. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right, so we'll tap that mini me. Girl tap that mini me. Mini me looks just like big boy, except he's smaller. Make sure you have some clean white paint. We're gonna do our waterfall. We're gonna do our waterfall. Yes, we are. Right here with the mini me. So, you are going to just put clean white paint on the tip of Mini Me and then kind of smush, smush them on your palette a little bit. You're going to come over here where you made that flat ridge. Pizza time! All right, Magna, see you in a minute. You're going to come to where this flat ridge is and you're going to do these swoops. Just like that. So you press your brush against the top and then you lighten up as you go towards the bottom. And as you lift up, you're gonna get these little see-through parts and that's what you want. And I'm gonna hold the brush back here and I'm just gonna do these like really quick. So press, pull, lift. Press, pull, lift. Press, pull, lift. That's it. Press, pull, lift. So you can do that really fast. And I arched it this way on this side. And I arched it. Actually, I arched it out. I arched it out like that. On that side, and I arched it out on that side. So press, pull, and lift. Grab more paint, smush it off to the side. Press, pull, lift. Because you want your water to have that see-through on the bottom. And then once you have that part, right, don't go where your see-through is. Go underneath it. Go underneath where your see-through is. And we're going to do the fun little swirlies. So don't cover up your see-through part. Go underneath it. And you're going to do your fun little swirlies. I'm just swirling my brush. Squiggling it that way. Squiggling it this way. Making all these fun things happen. Your waterfall. You can make it as big or as little as you want. Don't matter to me none. Your waterfall. Just make sure you don't cover up where that see-through part is. And then, with your brush, all where you made those little swirly things, now you're just going to do dabs. Like water's popping off of there. You're going to do these little dabs. 
Give yourself like water's popping off. Very light touch and I'm just dabbing my brush. And I'm gonna put some above on here. Like I said, don't go nutty. Don't lose your see-through part. But you just want those little dabs to make it look like it's splashing. Ta-da! Just like that, waterfall makers. You guys are so good. I'm telling you, insane. Just insane how amazing you are. Just insane. Okay. What do we want to do next? Uh, swirl tap dab tiny. Swirl tap dab tiny. Okay, you're gonna go back into your black paint. If it's getting goopy, remember the water trick? Just grab a little bit of water on the brush, swirl it around, because you want a nice, you don't want the goopy, that's goopy, see that, oh, could be help, help if I was in the camera. Huh, <laughs> that's goopy, you don't want that. So if your paint's getting goopy, just dip your brush in your water, put it into your paint, swirl it around a bit. And then you have it nice and thin. Okay? So we don't want goopy paint. Alright, so grab that nice thinner paint that you made. Just by adding a little bit of water. You're going to come over here. Get over here. Get over here. And we're going in this bottom corner over here. And you're just going to do little flicks up. Make little grass things going on. Now I'm holding my brush back here. And I'm just doing little flicks. And if you notice, I have to keep refilling my brush. This is not pressing hard. This is taking that thinner paint that you just did. And you're starting in here and you're doing a flick. That's it. And that's going to make all these cool little grass blades for you. How easy was that? And then you're going to roll your brush in that nice thin paint. Get a nice tip on them. Hold back here. Start in your island and you're just going to pull up. And then wiggle like that way. And you're gonna go right back to where that was, pull up, and like wiggle that way. And pull up, wiggle one straight up. Start off where your wiggles were, put a little piece going out, maybe a little piece going out here. Start where your wiggle was, a little piece going out this way. Maybe one up like that. It's your tree. Do whatever you want. And again, if these came out thick, just make everything before it thicker. Okay? So if your little squiggles came out thick, just make everything that you drew before it thicker. That's how you make it look proportional. And now you're going to wipe off min Tiny because you know he's getting globby. Maybe you have to make more thinner paint, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off because it's globby. And I'm going to grab that thin paint. And I'm going to go up to those branches I made before. Same thing. Run your brush across that branch and pull out, and you can make these nice small ones. Thinner paint. Run along. Light, light, light touch. I'm barely touching. Okay, so it is time for Ease Artistry Insight. Yay! Everybody get excited. Yay! <laughs> 
I seriously need some help. All right. So, Eve's Artistry Insight. When it comes to trees, trees have five parts. You have the twigs. You have the branches, the limbs, four parts. Trees have four major parts. <laughs> you have the twigs, the branches, the limbs, and the trunk. Okay, in our particular painting, we do not have the trunk today. So, my point being, Eve's Artistry Insight, as I was telling you before, the twigs is the thinnest part. Then your branches are next. Then your limbs, even thicker. Your trunk is the thickest. So, if you are doing your twigs, and if you notice, this is thinned out paint, just on the tip. This is the easiest way to do twigs. Here's your insight. Thin your paint out. Hold your brush back here. Light, light touch. Start off on one of your branches and just squiggle out. Just like that. That is how you do your twigs. Now, if your twigs are thicker, this is the branch. You make that part thicker. This is the limb. Notice how my limb is really thin. It's thinner than my branch. So I have to make this limb thicker. I have to make that limb thicker. Why? Because the limb is thicker than the branch. The branch is thicker than the twig. The trunk is thicker than all of it. So, if you are ever painting your trees, Eve's Artistry Insight, and they're just not looking right, make sure all of your pieces are following the rule of having to be thicker. So I made that thicker. So back here, my limb back here has to be even thicker. And if I had a trunk, that would have to be even thicker. So that is your insight, okay? Four parts, twigs, branches, limbs, and trunk. Twigs are the thinnest. Branches next, limbs, trunk. You follow that thickness rule, you will get trees that look proportional every single time. I guarantee it. So there you go. There's my insight for you for tonight. All right? So have fun with this thinned out paint. Like I said, if you wind up with a piece being thicker, follow that guideline of making it thicker as you work your way back to the other pieces of the tree. So this is your tree. You can add as many little twigs as you want or as little. Make sure you have to keep washing your brush off. All that good stuff. Make sure your paint is nice and thin. Doing these squiggles. You can have as many or as little as you want. You want to come off your branch and pull. You don't want teeth. Teeth is when you pull straight down. No, this is just some sort of music, Nancy. I don't know what it is. It's not Marilyn Manson because he's copyrighted. So that wouldn't be on here because the first video I ever did... I got shut off because I was playing copyright music. Now, if you see, guys, I just did my little trick because this was thicker than that. And that, that's against the rules. That's against the rules with trees. So, you can add as many of these as you want, as little. And you are now going to be tree painting experts. As long as you follow that simple rule of thickness, you will be fine. 
having this thin out black paint on your brush if you want to. I gave two little ribbon bows holding her swing. So it was a circle, another oval, string, string. Where the other one's meeting, oval, oval, string, string. All right, put Tiny away. We seriously have three things left to do. Here I am with four. <laughs> three things left to do. <laughs> All we have to do is put in our swooping stars put in our, our smush for our tree and put in our little flowers over here and our water lines. And that is it. We have a finished painting. So you guys are amazing. And we're going to swirl, dab, tap, swirl, tap, dab, fluffy. Girl, tap, tap, fluffy. Now, the fluff in my first painting, I just made it blue and white. But tonight, I'm going to get a little creative and add the red to it to get some lilac hues. Because I'm going more in a purple direction tonight. That's for you, Lisa. Okay? That's just all for you. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Nancy. I don't know what music is playing. I literally just put it up, and it can't be Marilyn Manson because, like I said, they would have shut me down. So, swirl tap there, fluffy. <laughs> You're very welcome. So, now... You guys know the drill. Mash that fluffy up. Nancy, you mash those fluffies up. Nancy ordered a kit from me. How's that working for you, Nancy? Let everybody know how amazing that kit is. Mash these brushes up. Because I don't think anyone's understanding how hard I worked to put those kits together. <laughs> I need a little bit of customer testimony going on. For everybody watching the replay that needs supplies, I'm telling you, take it from Nancy. Let them know, know about it, Nancy. Okay, Fluffy is all fluffed out. I am going to smush into my white, my dirty white with the blue. I'm going to smush into my dirty red that had the blue in it. I'm going to smush into my blue. Mash, 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 mash. Get it nice in that brush good. I'm going to grab a little more red just for Lisa to make it more purple. I'm going to come over to my little tree first. Very light touch because you want small little smushes. Small little smushes. Small little smushes. Very light touch. Barely touching the canvas. Barely touching. Now, if you messed up a brush, guess what? A branch, guess what? This is your time to fix it. Just cover right over it. Just cover right over it. Okay, so there's our little tree. And now I'm going to load this brush up with more color. Red, white, and blue. Oh, my favorite color combination. Our country, true and true, red, white, and blue. I'm going to go to all my branches up here. Again, if you screwed one up, cover it. You guys know how to do this. You know the drill. You know the drill. All right? Stick and move. Stick and move. Stick and move. Nancy, you're not talking about the kit. <laughs> you are the Nancy that bought the kit, right? <laughs> or am I messing up the Nancys again? Where's Magna when I need her? She remembers everyone's names and who they are. She's so good. 
I have to write everything down. I have to write everything down nowadays. Okay, stick and loop, guys. And then you can play, right? Just grab some white. Just grab some white, put pops of white on there. Just grab some blue, put some darker pops of color in there. Right? All I'm doing is smashing these different colors into my fluffy. That's it. I'm sticking and moving. All I'm doing. All I'm doing. Stick and move, stick and move. Nice loaded up brush with color. Look how much paint's on that brush. Mush it all together in there. Tap it on. Tap it on. Play with it. Play with your colors. Play with grabbing more of one color than another. See what happens. See what changes. See how the brush mixes the colors for you. Grab just white. Put some pops of white in there and make it really pop out. I have fun doing the tree bushes. I do. I like, this is one of my favorite things to do, is the tree smushes. I like to see the magic the brush creates out of my control. All I'm doing is smushing paint into my brush. And the rest is up to the brush. Did you hear that, Lisa? I'm giving up control. Giving up control to my brush. Just making sure you caught that. <laughs> so I need ideas for the third painting for uh, Friday, guys. Or the second painting. It's Spook Cells. Sorry. I'm going to let somebody enjoy Spook. We'll see. Because I want to put them on display tomorrow. But I need ideas for uh, for next Friday. What do you guys want to paint? What do you want to paint? I was looking at all sorts of Halloween stuff and different cool things. So, what do you guys want to paint? Give me a heads up. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you what you what you want. What you want? <laughs> Where'd you go, Nan? Where'd you go, Nancy? You, you're having too much fun smushing? A scary, windy landscape. I could do that. I did a scarecrow one. You guys want like a scarecrow with a windmill all in like oranges and blacks? I did one of those a long time ago. It was a lot of fun. You guys want that? I can do that. I had to stop. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. I, I was trying to trying to get you to tell everybody about the paint kits because I'm so excited about them and and I just know that you're having a ton of fun with yours. I know you're having a ton of fun with yours that you got. What do you guys want to paint? Tammy, Julia, Lisa? You want a uh, scarecrow? Windmill? Something spooky? What do you guys want to paint? Talk to me, people. Talk to me. I found this idea all on my own. That's right. Because I got skills like that. <laughs> Water can with sunflowers. I have one, Lisa. You need to get all your peeps to vote. Because this week, this Friday, is the last call for this painting. This is a water can with sunflowers. It's been in the lineup for three weeks now. Last call. Get your friends to vote it in. It keeps getting beat out. Silly goose. Silly Gooseberry. I 
I can show you how to do the water can with that painting and you could put the girl in. You guys know what time it is, right? You know what time it is. You know it's you know it's go to time for Miss Eve over here. You want to paint a hippo? I can get I can do a hippo, Tammy. All right, that was totally like not with the season, but okay. We can do a hippo. Oh, that sounds really cool, Nancy. All right. Ah, oh, that's so good. Ice cold. Okay, swirl tap, dab, tiny. Okay, so the flowers up here, all I did was grab white and just did lines with white. This is with tiny, and I'm just smushing lines in, and then I grabbed my other color that was on my palette, so I'm going to grab from that mush I just made with Fluffy. You want a Christmas hippo? Okay. Something to do with uh, pumpkins and gourds. Okay. We can do a Christmas hip. Um, we can do a Christmas hippo if you want a Christmas hippo. I can do that. I can do that. So this is just dabs, grabbing my different colors and putting it on the tips of these stems. And I'm just alternating a lighter color and a darker color. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Christmas hippo. Where do you come up with this stuff, Tammy? A Christmas hippo. <laughs> it's so random. Remind me in November. <laughs> Remind me in November that you want a Christmas hippo. <laughs> Silly. All right. So that is that. And then I'm going to swirl tap dab my tiny. Nightmare before Christmas. I had a painting. I just sold it last weekend. And I have another, hold on, let me, um, I might still have it. Hold on, guys. I might still own it. I don't know. I have to check. I do not still own it. I, I don't have it anymore. I don't own it anymore. <laughs> I don't own it anymore. I had two Jack Skeleton paintings that I did, and I sold them both. So I'll have to create a new one. One was more Halloween-y, and one was definitely more Christmas. So uh, I will definitely keep that in the lineup, Nancy, because I don't have either one anymore. So I can definitely paint another one. Um... The water pitcher, that's already in the running, sweetie. Get somebody to vote for it. Christmas Hippo, remind me in November, my love. Remind me in November. And the it's windy, scary scene, I can totally do one of those if you guys like that idea. I can do a landscape with like a scarecrow and a windmill and the wind blowing through. Like maybe a, um, a sunset cemetery or something. Okay, you send me pictures of them and I'll and I'll check it out. Okay, so swirl tap dab tiny. Swirl tap dab tiny. Grab your white paint and it's zigzag zoom time. 
Ziggy zaggy zoom time. Ziggy ziggy zaggy zoom time. So where your mountains touch, meet your water. Ziggy zaggy zoo. Ziggy zaggy zoo that water line in. Okay. And on the other side, ziggy zaggy zoo. Ziggy zaggy zoo those water lines in. And then all around where your waterfall is, you're going to ziggy zaggy zoo water lines in, okay? So coming out from the side. Coming out from the side. Ziggy zaggy zoo time. Ziggy zaggy zoo, right? Ziggy zaggy zoo. Just zigzag zoo these water lines in. That's all we're doing. Straight across. Light, light touch. Zigzagging my brush back and forth. Ziggy zaggy zoo time. So you want all those water lines in. And I put mine coming all the way to the front of the canvas. So I hold back here. Sounds awesome. I hold back here. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to go... And barely touch my canvas with my brush moving like that. See how I'm doing this? And I'm barely touching my canvas. I'm just letting it touch down here and there. And I brought those water lines all the way to the front of my picture. All the way to the front. So that is extreme ziggy zaggy zoo. So back and forth like this, up to your canvas, barely touch your canvas, and let those zig lines, ziggy zag lines go in wherever they want to. Wherever they want to go. You know me, I always overdo it with the water lines. I like doing those too, they're fun. And the only thing left is our stars, ladies. Now. Do not put your swoop from here out because that is going to look like she's producing stars from a whole other area of her body that we don't want to do. <laughs> I love all your ideas, ladies. Thank you so, so much for that. That was fun. So do not do your stars swooping out from the bottom of the swing. Because it will not look like stars It'll look like something else. Again, we are with Tiny. Hey, Teresa. We are with Tiny. I'm grabbing just white paint. And what I want you to do from this area of her body, and I want you to do in an arcing motion, a swoop, okay? A swoop from this area of her body out to the side of your canvas. So to keep that swoop for yourself as you're doing your stars, I want you to put dots swooping up, okay? And that is the shape you want to follow. So you do those dots, right? And then you could do random ones all around that line. So they're still doing a swoop. Okay, and where you put those dots is where you're gonna do your little star designs. So I have like 101 star designs in here, look. See all the different stars? I have the just across, I have some shooting, stars doing that in that swoop I have just dots I have big dots another shooting one right just a dot with lines so when you do the shooting ones do your lines following that arch okay and you just want to follow that arch that you made with your dots beforehand and that's it guys that's it fam that's our whole painting and if you messed up any part of her body, put a little twinkle on it. So a line, line, another line, 
So if you messed up any part of her body you're not liking, put a little stardust on it. That's all. That's all. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So make those dots and then when you fill it in, follow that pattern. Okay, and you can make some of them be the crosses. You can do some big ones. You can do some shooting ones. Okay, your stars, your world, whatever you want them to be. Big dots, little dots, however you want. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh my God, fam, thank you so much for watching me. And I love you guys, and you're all amazing. You warm my heart, as always, every Friday. Thank you so much for your ideas. Um, thank you for everybody who's watching the replay. This is Eve from Eve's Creations Paint Party. I hope you enjoy painting. I hope that you got very creative, because that's what I love. That's the whole point. And I glad I can help you guys make memories so I love you all go create finish up your stars and make sure you post your finished product to the event please um, so I can share them with everybody how amazing you all are and it is free to watch gratuities are appreciated I will post the links to that so thank you so much for watching me tonight and um, Go create. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Definitely. Good stuff. Lots of good stuff going on here. You are so welcome, Lisa. You are so, so, so welcome. Thank you so much for chiming in and saying hi while we're painting. Enjoy your replay. Of course, if you have any questions, I am here. Just message me and I will answer them. You are so welcome, Nancy. I'm so glad you enjoyed this painting. And thank you for your ideas. I definitely have something in this little brain of mine. Working, working, working for that scary, windy landscape thing. I like that. I like it a lot. You are so, so, so welcome. Julia, did you get your email? 
Did you get your email, Julia? I just thought of it. What happened? don't know talent when they see one sweetie you'll do you'll you'll get there keep trying you'll get there you are amazing you are absolutely amazing so you will get there I have faith in you so it's all good And kudos to you for trying. Because that, that's, that's where the real strength comes in. To have that brave bravery to try. See? I'm telling you. Where one door closes, another one opens. Twyla! Hi, Twyla! Hi, love! Where, see, Julia, where one door closes, another one opens. You're, you're going to be like the next Broadway star. Hi, Twyla. Hi, love. Oh, if anybody needs Tupperware watching this video, Tammy is the one to get Tupperware. And Twyla is the one to get LuLaRue. Nice. There you go. So, if anybody's watching this video, Twyla is the woman for Lularoo. And Tammy is the woman for Tupperware. <laughs> it's alright, Nancy. Lisa takes three weeks. So, you're fine. And Nancy's jewelry, that's right. That's right, Twyla. You better plan a party. <laughs> or you could just come on here on Fridays at 7. I'm here every Friday at 7 o'clock. Every Friday at 7. I miss you too, love. Isn't that amazing? Where one door closes, another one opens, Julia. I mean you, silly. Twyla, I mean you. You could come on here every Friday and I will be live until you plan the in-person party. Every Friday night, I am here. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. You can paint fine.
Oh, and just to let you know, I wear my, um, my LuLaRue, um, pants with the paintbrushes and easels to, to every show, and I get compliments every time. So, just to let you know, I'm always wearing them. I wear them to every outing I do. And tomorrow I'm going to be in Smithville, and I'll be wearing them tomorrow, too. Yep, so Twyla's the person to get in touch with for LuLaRue, so just message her, Tammy. She's awesome. All right, guys, I love you all. I'm going to finish this up because I have to go get ready for tomorrow. So thank you so much, fam, for watching me, and I will see you all next time. Bye. Go create.